Hello, welcome back Friday Tech at MED. And today the question is, standard gearbox rebuild, fast road specification, what would you recommend to change at the same time as doing it at home? Okay, firstly, I would suggest completely gutting gearbox, cleaning everything scrupulously clean before you even start. Then a full investigation of all the parts, inspection of the gears in particular, especially okay. the dog teeth, here on the gears and the internal dog teeth on the synchro hubs. So it's a helical box, but you still, um, with bolt rings in, but you still call those the dog teeth. Aren't They're they? the dog teeth. Yep. What happens is that piece there slides over the top of there and the dogs inside there lock on there and that engages first gear. Yep. Second gear, third gear, fourth gear. So you need to check the dog rings, the internal dog teeth and the external dog teeth to make sure they're not worn. Otherwise, you'll get no drive. Got it. Okay. okay. First thing. Obviously, look for cracks, etc. Favourite place for them to crack is across here. Yeah. And then check all the threads, etc. Yeah. Okay. Um, strip all the gears out. Check the internal bores of the gears. Make sure there's no pitting where the bearings are broken through the hardening, etc., etc. This one's nice and clean. How would you recommend cleaning the casing up? This one's been chemically cleaned by our chemical company yeah very hard to get them as clean as this at home but there's not really a lot you can do unless you take it to a professional hard graft um i don't think you'd ever get one as clean as this at home no okay but that's and obviously uh, scrape the uh, gasket off as well the gasket there. polish these faces yeah yeah okay um cross pin diff okay always a good idea two pins high quality material planet gears nice and solid unit okay if you don't want to go to the expense of that, we do actually sell a competition diff pin. This is a black, night-tempered diff pin, yeah. high-quality steel. What happens if you put a standard one back in and... Uh... Standard ones are made of monkey metal, basically, and what happens is once the gears start spinning on them, which they do if you wheel spin at traffic lights, yeah. they wear through them. Before you know it, they've gone halfway through, they snap, and then the pin comes out of the back of the gearbox. So if you want something a bit stronger, either pin like that, or cross pin. Cross pin. Okay. Next thing, lay shaft. Okay. Check the lay shaft. They normally break through the case hardening here and here. Check to make sure they haven't broken through. If they have, replace. If not, give it a nice polish up. Close inspection because the new needle roller bearings that you're going to put on need to run on a clean, unpitted surface. Got it. And that's the competition grade. Um... They're the ones we use for the dog boxes. Right. And they, they work really well in race no applications. So race applications. Or in a standard rebuild. Good. Uh, new needle roller bearings, either end of the lay shaft and inside your fourth gear, which is what we call the first to third needle roller bearing. That needs replacing. You can replace all the bearings under each gear. There's one, two, three. They're a big needle roller bearing. Yep. They can be replaced they're not necessarily needed for replacing they're not that i think it's probably a good idea though isn't it if you're doing everything then it's peace of mind you know it's there so it's, that's right you don't really want to be taking that in and out all the time almost definitely not so the bearings under the gears can be changed if you feel necessary okay next one spigot bearing yep this has got an outer race and an inner the inner race goes on to the end of the first motion shaft okay. the outer race goes into the transmission housing yeah, that's held in with a circle. Quite difficult to get out that. So, one of those. A must is an idler gear replacement, idler gear bearing replacement. Yeah, these are Torrington bearings, high quality. So, not the old one out this way. Yeah, new one goes in that way. You can get them in easier if you preheat the casing. Yeah, they then fit in and shrink on to the bearing. Again, highly recommended changing. Most definitely, it's one be... of the most important ones to change. That's going to be worn out. That's right. Then you've got your double roller bearing for the centre of the gearbox, single roller bearing for the first motion end. Yep. You'll need two of these, which are the diff bearings. Which look like... One, two. Like that. Like so. A must. Bolt rings. Yep. These will stop you crunching gear when you shift either up or down. It's basically a clutch. And what it does is it stops one gear crashing into the other. It slows it so down. And these are, those. these are really nice quality ones that we'd use on kind of a race series where you're not allowed to run a dog box, then... These are the ones that the best you can get, really, yeah. yes. Okay. 
a couple of new oil seals for the diff out, uh, diff output shaft covers. Which has been nicely cleaned up as well. Yep. Uh, then you'll need a gasket set. Yep. And... I was going to ask about that, we've got a loose pipe in there. Loose pipe, because it's not been bolted in yet, is the central oil pickup pipe. Okay. It's a must if you're thinking of driving quick. Okay. I.e. going round roundabouts, round tight corners, because what happens is, if you go round a corner, that away, the oil surges to that side of the gearbox, yep. and the standard pickup pipe is in that side of the gearbox, and you get no oil pickup. Therefore, you get no oil to the crankshaft, and you knock the big ends out. That's what's um, happened on my mini stock oval racer many years ago. There you go. Right hand corners, and the oil light came on, and it was uh, game End over. Engine. Yes. yes. So, central oil pickup pipe. And that is about it, apart from this little piece, which is your rod change bush, which fits in the rear just there. Okay. What happens is, if you get the casings cleaned in a particular manner, it can eat in to the rubber. Yep. So when you get it back from a cleaning company, check to make sure that the inner is not loose. Got if it. it is, knock it out, put a new one in. And then I suppose the final thing is just a, a nice coat of paint. I just painted that in silver. So this one's just, just been painted. Halford's yes. metallic silver works quite well. And, and then uh, careful build up, checking end floats, etc. etc. Preload the diff and away you go. You've got a gearbox. Perfect. Thanks, Steve. Okay.